Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're tuning in, and welcome to Mathematica Experts Live, Dynamic Interfaces Q&A 2012. Over the next 90 minutes or so, we'll be taking your questions about building dynamic interfaces inside Mathematica. We'll learn how to use the dynamic function. We'll take a look at how to build custom buttons and toolbars and how to build complete interfaces inside Mathematica and a whole lot more. You've already submitted a bunch of questions when you've signed up. We're going to try to get to as many of those as we can. You can also submit questions live in the Q&A pod on your screen, and we'll get to those as well. Now, if you have to leave at some point during the show, we hope you don't. But if you have to, we will have this available to watch on demand on our website. Check out uh, in a few weeks, and we'll have that available. We'll also have all the notebooks available from these guys, our Mathematica experts, so you can play around with the code as well. I'm your host, Zach Parcell, and joining me, three of my colleagues, the Mathematica experts for today, and we'll introduce them starting at the far end. He's back. He was here last time, Yu Sung Chang, followed by Faisal Wepley, one of our newcomers to the program, and then finally, Chris Carlson. These guys know dynamic interfaces in and out, and I know they're anxious to answer some questions. Are you guys ready to go? Sure. 